Um, so... Every day feels like waking up to this never-ending nightmare. Uh, the, the pain, it's, um, it's hard to describe. It's, uh, it's like this constant thing that's always there, just uh, gnawing at me. You know, my, my body feels like it's rebelling against me and there's no way out. And it just keeps going and going, but nobody sees it. I used to have all these plans and dreams, you know, but um, I mean, what's the point? You know, like, how can you even think about the future when you're just trying to survive the day? I mean, people say stuff like, stay positive or you'll get through this, but I mean, they don't get it. I mean, not that I don't uh, appreciate it, but uh, you know, they don't know how it is to feel trapped inside your own body. It's lonely and it's isolating. And even when I'm around people, I feel like I have to put on this mask so that they feel comfortable. <sighs> and that's shitty, huh? I smile on the outside, but on the inside, it's a whole different story. Uh, you know, there are times when I feel like I just can't hold it in. You know, and I, I mean, why should I? I don't owe anybody anything, or at least I don't think I do. Um, I thought about ending it all. But then there's this whole other side, this like, this fear, I guess, like, like what happens next? And what if things get better? You know, what if, what if things change? But, you know, I ask myself every morning, you know, like, what if they don't? Riley, yeah, hi. I was going over your file today and um, I noticed you've been out several times in the past month without doctor's notes. So the next call out will be a probation period. So um, if you have any questions about that, please let us know, okay? Thanks, bye. First unheard message sent yesterday at 7.15 p.m. Hey, this is Audrey with Farm Right. We're calling to inform you that your primary hasn't refilled your prescription yet. We believe it's due to an insurance issue. So when that's settled, we'll gladly refill. Or unless you want to pay out of pocket rather than the copay, we can totally do that. Once again, we apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks. Uh, 
unfortunately, we're no longer accepting applicants for the company. No, no, I understand, order. but is there anything else I can do? If this was earlier in the year, I could have possibly did something. It's just something I can't budge on. I, I can't resubmit it or anything like that. You can, but if you resubmit your forms again, we can look into possibly okay. getting your insurance all squared away by next fall. Yep. Once again, I, I apologize for the inconvenience. All right. Okay. You have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Right. Goodbye. Message deleted. Next message sent to... Jake, I'm not going to be in the... Message deleted. End of messages. Check erased messages. Press 1-9. Me You know, you don't have to put on an act for me, Riley, but uh, I've been around long enough to know when somebody's hurting. Is it a pull or something? It's just one of those days. Yeah. You know, Riley, I think life is made up of these little painful moments, you know? They come and they go, you blink and you miss them, that sort of thing. My worst time wasn't when I lied to others to make them more comfortable. It's when I lied to myself. Sometimes we get weighed down by things we don't show. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Maybe, uh, who knows, maybe we're afraid of ourselves, you know? Like, I just know it's a shitty deal, but uh, I think in those moments of vulnerability, we. Uh, we connect with one another. Sometimes we just can't see that. And those little painful moments, well, they don't seem so little anymore. I guess what I'm trying to say, Rai, is that you gotta be honest, not with me, not with anybody else, but with yourself. Thanks, Jack. No problem, kiddo. No problem. <laughs>